Hello and welcome back to the Avatar mod for Crusader Kings 2. So I have looked up how to become a Merchant Republic and I can almost guarantee someone has told me the mistake I've made already. You have to be on the coast, which is um, something we are not, but we can be. We could maybe convert our... Can we change our capital in the lifetime or do we have to wait till the next lifetime? Yeah, we'd have to wait till our ca next character, but we're actually not that far away. We're 30. So, we, uh, on our next character, we need to move it to the coast, and we need to have a level 4, um, like, merchant town thing. So, a level 4 one of these, I think. So, um, or merchant city. So, I think what we're going to do here is we're just going to choose one of these provinces and start upgrading it. So, for our next character, we can change thing and then just push it up. And I think that's going to be the easiest way to do things. Uh, so I guess we're doing it in Quixac, which will be our temporary capital. Um, when we do that. Okay, so we want to change overseas construction to Quixac. And we just want to upgrade. And then we can switch at a later date. Cool. So actually, we may have been better off in our old capital. But that's fine. We don't need to worry. In fact, if we die, we're going to get one on the coast anyway. We can't, Can we upgrade his stuff? We could just upgrade Tanis uh, Batu's stuff as well. Because I suppose, um, like, we are going to become him. We have the money. It doesn't really hurt us to make our vassals get us more money. Uh, our half-brother is an idiot or an imbecile. That's not good. Do you have imbecile in your line? Oh. Is your mother an imbecile? No, it must be, like, even further back. Although there is a random chance of it appearing. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, what I was thinking we might do is, given we can't do that in this lifetime, what we might try is we might try this decision. A greater tribe and just see what it does. Can we do spiritual journey? It's not busy feasting, hunting, travel, or other special activities. We're not doing any of those, but okay, interesting. I wonder why we can't do that. Oh well, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go to greater tribe and see how that goes. For years now, we have ruled over a sizable realm and led a hardy people. It is clear to our des. It is clear to. Our destiny is greater than even these heights. It is time for our fleets to leave the Arctic Seas and conquer the distant shores of other nations. It's time our tribe became an empire. So you now may wage uh, you may wage war to seize any coastal province belonging to a different culture group. Interesting. So we could declare for like up here and start moving into the Earth Kingdom if we wanted to. Is there anywhere up here that isn't the Earth Kingdom? Like is this Earth Kingdom land? You are not a subject of the Earth Kingdom. Interesting. So we go up here and we can get swamp water people. Get the, swoggy, uh, the foggy swamp people under our control. Is there anybody else we can see who we'd want? I don't know. Not really. Yeah, let's go get. Let's go beat up sw foggy swamp people. So how many boats do we have? We have 43 plus 5, 48. We don't quite... Yeah, so yeah, we have just enough for our army currently. So let's do it. Declare, we can't declare war on you. Why not? You're coastal? Let's have a look here. We don't have reasons to declare war on anybody. Oh. Okay. It will wait till next month. Is it just these people? Like, what reasons? Uh, we have reasons to declare war on this uh, person here. What, what reasons do we have? Claim stuff for this courtier. Huh. Interesting. So it definitely said we can wage war on any coastal city. And that just appears to be untrue. Yeah, we have no CBs against any of these people. Not even the Fire Nation. Huh. Maybe we just need to wait? Our tribe are not the only ones who survive by hunting in these lands. Now a great many wolves have seen gathering close to our settlement. They'll prove to be a great menace to our people until they either disperse or they're destroyed. Uh, yeah, go get the wolves. What did we become? We became wounded. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, you've got the recruitment drive in the South Pole down. Yeah, still don't actually have any other ways to clear wars. Interesting. Um, yeah. yeah it, I guess it just doesn't work as an event. Yeah, okay. Um, we could also choose to side with a nation if we wanted to here. Like... If we sided with the Fire Nation, we might survive, but... Uh, does this have a condition... Okay, so it doesn't have a condition we're not at war with the Fire Nation, so we could click that if the Fire Nation ever attack us. 
How do we do Chief of Chiefs? We need to completely control the tribe of the Northern Water Tribe. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Uh, let's start getting ourselves some claims over here then. Northern Water Tribe have only 4,000 uh, strong here. And they're feudal, they're not tribal. Interesting. Uh, let's go fabricate some claims. Yeah, all the way up there. Cool. Well, we're, we're trying to do some interesting stuff. We'll see if any of it actually ever works. Oh, we already finished the thing in here. We didn't finish the market town there. Okay, that's fine. This market town just finished. We can build another one. There we go. Keep upgrading it. This one is still going. Just in case that might become our capital if he inherits. I can't remember. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt us. Uh, conscientious gets us uh, that one. Curious will work with this one. Uh, what else do they have? Haughty doesn't work with anything. Yeah, we'll go for... I guess we'll go for the one that makes Curious good. Because we might get shrewd. There we go. Cool. Um, on a lark, I decided to come and uh, to travel amongst the common folk in incognito, but it didn't work out, and then somebody tried to kill me. Yeah, whatever. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Um, anything else we need to do? Not really. We're just kind of chilling out here, waiting for claims. How good is our diplomat? 19. Yeah, we're unlikely to get a better diplomat than that, so we might as well just wait. We prosper. Uh, this other province prospers, this other province prospers. Prosperous all around. There's our market city. When we get a little bit more gold, we can upgrade that to level 4. And hopefully that'll allow us to do something. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it'll allow us to do something if we, if we use this province. It says your capital has to be it, but maybe uh, that province will allow us to do something. Not sure. Anyway, it makes us a lot of money. Um... You have provided me with proof that Tanis Batu has been viciously slandering me. Well, I mean, he has been, so, um... Well, there's not really a lot we can do with that. We could denounce him publicly. Sure, I denounce you publicly. Yeah, I'm not going to imprison him, but I'll denounce him. We are now scarred. Okay. Uh, still can't go on that spiritual journey. Interesting. I guess we're stuck in another event somehow. Like, maybe we're stuck in the, um... Family event? Oh, we're hunting again. There's a there's a full-grown polar bear dog. Last time, we were brave and we took it down. Let's do it again. Yup. Okay. So, we are now Chief Batu. We have changed into him. We have a new heir who is Tanist Tulok, our brother. Okay. Uh, let's see exactly what we want to do. So, our capital is currently the South Pole. We're going to change that to Quixac right here. Make that our capital. Yep. That's fine, I think. This is the one we've been upgrading. Yes. So this should allow us to convert to Merchant Republic. Council positions. Um, let's see who we got. You're fine. Chief Warrior is going to be this dude, because he wants to be, and he's a powerful vassal. Uh, and Chief Shaman is going to be this guy. So, perform charity... We see construction, train troops, uh, scheme, and fabricate our claims. Cool. Right. Uh, designated regent's going to be whoever our Tanist ends up being. Probably. Uh, advisor slot. Do we have any powerful vassals who aren't good at anything? No, we actually don't. So we could just put an advisor in for something we want. So, like, De Desna's a good advisor. Right, what else do we need to do here? We need to set up a designated regent. Oh, wait, we need to wait for unpaused for that to happen. Crown focus. Uh, our capital. We have one too many provinces, so that means we have this one. We probably have one too many duchies now as well, so our vassals will be unhappy. All too many duchies, yeah. So we'll give away this duchy to... Do we have a member of our family we wish to give it to? Uh, we have a sibling, Tulok, who is un who doesn't have any land, so we could just give him it. Uh, include lower titles, we'll give him that one. Yeah, there we are. Perfect. Uh, we now have an open council position for Chief Warrior. It's actually one of our powerful vassals went away. Tulok wishes to be on the council. Desna would make a better warrior. We're going to change his council position to uh, Chief Warrior. Then Tulok can be our marsh. Uh, 
Wait, I changed his position and it didn't work. You know what? Fire Cancellor. Um, we can't put him in again? That's annoying. Oops. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Two locks in there. Right. Uh, wait half a second. Wait a tiny bit. Yes. Um, no point spying on Chief, Chief Garsuk as he is now dead. Very good point. Okay, so I want to put in Desna as our Chief Warrior. I can't. Hmm. For some reason it just won't allow me to put Desna in there. Weird. Okay. Uh, and we now have Tanis Masak. He is our new heir. So our nephew. Uh, that's good. He has cancer though, which isn't so good. Um, is he still our heir? Nope, now it's Tanis Tulok. Uh, Tanis Tulok uh, appears to be our heir. Let's go and put in, in minor titles, Tulok. There we go. Right, open council position for a marshal. I wish that to be Desna, but Desna for some reason can't be it. So we're going to put that guy in, and then we'll put Desna in in a bit. That's fine. Uh, we have built a large market town, which should mean that we're allow allowed to become a merchant republic. How do we do this? That's a very good question. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording and come back in just a second. So, I went and looked it up, and it appears that we may be completely out of luck, as um, it seems like there isn't a decision to actually adopt merchant republic in this mod at all. Like, I went out a look um, at all the mod folders for decisions, and it just doesn't appear to be there. However, the one I found there was Build Stronghold, which I actually found in here earlier. And this one is almost identical to the decision to um, like to convert to feudalism from uh, the base game. And it means that you have to have a personal wealth, except that it means you have to have a personal wealth of uh, 1,200. So that's not very good. So basically, I think we have to be feudal. Also, why do we have this army? Oh, we have vent spawn troops. Cool. Um, anyway, so that's not good. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to go and just fulfill what we're looking for here. So what do we need? Stone Hill Fort? Stone Hill Fort and a lot of money. Yeah. That's kind of unfortunate, but anyway. It does mean that we could potentially switch back to the South Pole if we wanted to at some point. Uh, so we might as well build on both of them. Cool. Um, anyway, the large market cities aren't that bad. They get us some money. It just means it's going to take us a lot longer than we initially thought. Um, this person um, has been through the teachings of someone. Oh, she converted? I think she converted. Oh, she has heritage. Okay, I see. Yeah, she converted. We should also set an heir for ourselves. Um, actually, from our heirs, we have Tulok, who is currently in charge. Or currently top. We have Masak, who's going to die. Who's after? Who's the next one line? We have um, Olapok, our former son. Yeah, that that seems per. He seems like he would be. He's going to be really good. Although he did take the education focus intrigue, which isn't as good. And his traits are awful. His stats are amazing. His traits are awful. Yeah. Oh well, I'm fine with Tulok then. I was going to think maybe we could. Oh yeah, we should just vote for Tulok. Um, I was thinking maybe we could affect the um result, but it doesn't matter. Cool. So now, we're pretty much on a waiting uh, train. These guys are new. Southern Raiders. Okay, interesting. We can declare war on them. We, we have a war we can declare. They're the only people we're able to declare war on. Okay. Because for our Water Tribe Offensive. Okay. He's revolting against his liege. Um, but we actually have it. There, there's win or lose. There's no white peace in this war. Yes, I'm, I'm all for a war that we can actually declare. Not raising a tribal army, raising all troops, doing that. Everyone to the coast, let's get ourselves some boats going here. Get them all to the coast. Um, cool, let's see if we can take it. Right, everybody to the coast. There is a period of peace and everyone is prospering, good. Get them here. We'd like to arrange a marriage. Our kinsmen would like to marry our daughter. They're betrothed, so I guess we'll accept. Yeah. I mean, I don't like the uh, incest going on there, but that's fine. Um, right, what have we got here? We want to just give you thrift, I think. 
Yeah. What are we looking at here? Raise tribal army. Don't care. Get on the boats. I uh, want to make sure we have the best army we can. This seems like these aren't the best we can. So Desna, as Saws, and uh, you will probably be the best. Get you over here. Right. Plan. Wait, that's the wrong one. Uh, that's, the, that's the wrong place. Land. There we go. Uh, assault down. 35%. Where, wait, where's the rest of the uh, fight? Oh, wait, the Fire Nation Revolt goes all the way over there. But the Southern Raiders are independent of the Revolt? Or are there more Southern Raiders that I missed? I'm trying to figure out where the rest of his, um, like, where the rest of him is. What else do you control? You control Southern Raiders and the county of that. What is the Southern Raiders? It's just that. Oh, it's this as well. Oh, I see. Whitetail Island. I missed that entirely. It's so small. Uh, okay. We can head over there. Yeah, let's land. Let's get it. Uh, we cannot order assault as we are not leading. That's fine. We are in charge, right? Yeah, we are in charge, so that's fine. 7%. This will be ours. Budget deficit, that's fine. If we're getting land, this is great. Right. Uh, 68%. Yep, keep sieging. As long as... If we see anyone going there, we need to do something about it. But apart from that, we're fine. Right. 100%. Let's enforce demands. We have grabbed some land that is quite clearly not ours. Yeah. That is uh, an interesting move. Let's land over here. We have a new heir. We'll now play as Tannist Olapuk, who is awful. But that's fine. He's an intricate web weaver, which is alright. Uh, disband the boats. Yeah, we, we, we've expanded into Fire Nation land. That's cool. Right, so... It's also on a trade route, which means that we should be able to build a trade post. Yes, if we have uh, money, we could build a trade post there. Cool. Um, we probably want to keep that one then. And we want to give away this one. Uh, let's just give it away. So, load filter slot 2. And um, it's probably going to be a theology guy. Do we have any of those? Uh, we do not have any of those. Okay. Or a theocracy guy. Uh, I'm just assuming because it's going to be a um, it's going to be a temple. Let's just put someone with high learning in there. Let's put you. You don't have cancer and you have high learning. Alright, we'll put you. Oh, I also have I forgot we, we have the intrigue focus. We could change that if we wanted to. Or we could go with it. There we go. You are now in charge of that. Uh, that's fine. Um, do you want to change our focus? An intrigue is fine if we want to, to spy on someone. There's not really anyone I want to kill, though. We go seduction. Not really anyone I want to seduce, though. Um, I kind of want just one of these I can just set and forget, which is why I tend to go for rulership and business, or, like, mastery or war, because you kind of set and forget them. Maybe we'll go family? It's kind of all right. It would kind of shore up our diplomacy a little bit. Well, to go somewhere different. We could go war. We are starting to do war stuff. Let's go war. Let's just switch it up a bit. Right. Uh, we can duel our rival. Um, okay. Wait. Oh, that's our friend. Wait, why can we duel this guy? We're not his rival. We can just choose to duel him. Just that guy, though. I'm trying to figure out why we would cho choose to duel him. I mean, he is bedridden right now. Yeah, I'm going to challenge him to a duel. He's bedridden, and I think we might win. He's chosen to flee and hide. Yes, our nephew with cancer. We we all, we decided to duel him, and he decided to hide. Yeah. Okay. We have a new tannist, Tulip. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Let our money go up quite a lot. We inherited. Oh no, Tannis Tulip has inherited something from someone. Not important. Okay. You need a childhood focus. You're gonna get duty. Cool. Do we have any other people we need to marry off? Her sister who isn't married but is now too old to marry. She was married at one point. Okay. 
We have daughter who needs to be married. Okay. You can be married to... Who's this guy? Oh, to that guy? Um, maybe. Maybe. Matrilineal marriage? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, any non-aggression packs we can get with that? We can get a few. But they're like our shamans. Any waterbenders? Oh, we got Quillock and we got these two. These two brothers. Okay. Uh, let's marry into you. Um, right, there we go. Perfect. Yes. Next one. Daughter married. Daughter young. Son married. Son married. Cool. Right. There we go. Should have some more waterbenders around. I tried to sit up in bed, but someone is holding me down. It's the burly armsman with the trustworthy face I promoted to the guard last week. There's a skinny little fellow with him, grinning viciously as he produces a dagger. Screaming and thrashing about, I managed to kick the guard in the groin and break free. I punched the other one in the nose and rushed from the room. Under torture, the two men admit that Chief Akpak of Ufalak has hired them. Yeah, we kind of knew that. Yeah, because he's got the intrigue focus. I guess that's why we had the dueling thing on him. Anyway, I think it's a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.